In our 3D printing course, we talked about certain requirements that many 3D printers have to ensure that our prints come out structurally sound. In Blender 2.77, we now have a much more intuitive way to check our models to see if they hold up to these standards. In edit mode, check on Mesh Analysis in the Viewport Properties panel. This will overlay the faces of our model with colors that indicate where potential problems could be. Gray means that there are no issues, red means that there is an issue, and anything from blue to orange means that it's towing the line. The first type of analysis is overhang. If you have an extrusion type 3D printer, there's a limit to the angle at which your model can support its own weight. As it is, it looks like our model is pretty good, but if we were to print this sideways, say with the X direction being up, then we may need to add extra support if your printer does not do that for you automatically. The second type of analysis is thickness. This shows where the walls of our mesh are too thin. We can set the thickness to an exact value by switching our units from none to metric in the scene settings. That way, if we have a printer that can print at 3 centimeters, we can just type in 0.03 and we can see exactly where we'll need to thicken the walls of our mesh in order for this to print well. You can also increase the samples per face in case you have really large faces in areas of varying thickness. Intersect simply shows us the faces that are overlapping with other faces. In this case, all of the features of the helmet are separate pieces, so this shows us the parts that need to be booleaned together in order to get a clean print. Distortion shows us where we have undefined geometry. This face right here is a good example. It's a quad, but when printed all geometry will first be converted into triangles. Right now the quad is stretched so that it looks different depending on where the triangle is placed. Blender is calculating the triangle as going this way, but the printer may calculate the edge as going in this direction, which would cause the face to look different, so our result is really unpredictable. To solve this, we can just connect the two opposite ends with the hotkey J to define the faces exactly how we want them to be. Lastly, Sharp will show us where sharp edges may cause the geometry to be too thin to print. As with the other types of analysis, you can set the maximum and minimum yourself to match your printer's abilities. So I hope you found this tip useful. If you're looking for a course to get you up and running with 3D printing, head over to CG Cookie using the link below to check it out. Hope to see you there.